It was 18 years ago today that Hurricane Katrina came ashore on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. That's the topic of this week's From the Vault. Here's three on your sides, Wilson Stribling. For 36 years, Hurricane Camille had been the worst storm anybody in Mississippi could remember. That all changed in 2005. We knew well before Katrina got here that it would be a bad storm. I just have to emphasize the importance of an evacuation. Evacuees streamed north from the coast toward Jackson and beyond. At 4 o'clock this afternoon, MEMA began contraflow traffic, opening up the entire roadway to those folks headed out of Katrina's path. People from across the Gulf Coast filled Jackson area hotels and shelters until all were nearly full. They could not have known that some would be here for weeks or longer. We're proceeding to the east along the beach here. These are all the old homes that were along the beach, many of them just gone. These were the images that showed all of us and all the world how bad it really was. The city of Waveland was all but wiped away, with other cities and towns up and down the coast left unrecognizable. Here in the Jackson area, some residents went weeks without power. For several days after the storm, people lined up in the heat just to get ice and gas. Take a look at this picture. As far as we know, this is the only place in Metro Jackson that is supplying ice to the city. And as we all know, power is out across Jackson. No ice, no cool water, no milk. Are your perishables spoiling in the freezer? It's rough. The casino industry in Mississippi was only 13 years old, but when Katrina all but destroyed the lucrative boats along the coast, leaving this one on top of the Holiday Inn in Biloxi, the legislature took action. In a special session, they passed a bill allowing casinos to move off the water and slightly inland to give them better protection against future storms. That's why the ones on the coast are no longer floating in the sound. Katrina also ignited an insurance debate. Was it wind or water that caused the damage? The difference determined who got paid what by their insurance company. <laughs> President George W. Bush came to Mississippi more than a dozen times after the storm, including this visit in early 2006. A lot of people in this country, many of whom have never been down here, care for you, they pray for you, and they're pulling for you. Governor Haley Barber wrote a book about Katrina and shared his perspective with WLBT 10 years after the storm. We didn't have any model to follow. Uh, the, the Federal Disaster Assistance Act, the Stafford Act, doesn't even contemplate a disaster of this size. He and the state's congressional delegation at the time got nearly $25 billion in federal aid to help Mississippi rebuild. 238 deaths in Mississippi were attributed to Hurricane Katrina. Wilson Stribling, three on your side.